Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to miss choir vocals in FS Studio. Just like the way Asake vocal is, Asake backup vocal effect. So in this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate that. So you can listen to the effect again. I'm going to show you step by step how we got this. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? So I'm going to start this video from the beginning. So make sure you stay tuned and watch everything from the start. So first, I'm going to import my vocals into FS Studio. Um, yeah, so I have my fo vocals right in here. So I'm going to just import it into my playlist section right here. I'm going to put it right here. So these are my complete vocals. I'm going to zoom it right in. So make sure you follow this tutorial step by step. So these are my vocals, my dry signal vocals. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? So beautiful. So this right here, the vocals, if you can see, as you can hear, the vocal is very, very dry. And we also have them here on our channel rack. So we're going to um, link them to our mixer. I'm going to link each individual audio, individual audio to our mixer. I'm going to take starting from three, let's say three, four, five, and six. So we have our audio right here on our mixer. I'm just going to remove, the, remove this. Then I'm going to delete this channel. I'm just going to remove this channel. I'm going to undo all this. So you watch me as I do it, as I start it from the beginning. So I'm just going to reset channel track to default. Okay, reset channel track to default. So I've eventually reset everything and I have my vocal right here. Them don't they see me? So now that I have already routed my vocals to the mixer. So I'm going to I'm starting from three. Them don't they see me? So possibly I'm going to be I'm going to title each um, oh so I already know one vocal one v1. I'll title v2. v3 and v4 them don't they see me one two three four So before now, I actually unlink the audio. Them don't they see me? So now that you have your four vocals right in here, so we're going to link these four vocals. As we can see, for you to actually get this cross effect, it simply means that you have to record more than one uh, vocals because there is a natural lush effect, a sweeping effect that follows your natural vocals. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So if I, if I, if you hear this single vocal, them don't they see me? You hear how it's very single it is. It's very, very single, okay? Them don't they see me. So when you add another vocal to it. Them don't they see me. So you can hear that lushness, that feel as if it's not more than, it's more than one person that is singing. So I'm going to add the third vocal to it. Them don't they see me. Then the fourth one. Them don't they see me. I don't know where the reverb is. I'm just going to check in for that reverb. Okay, we'll remove the reverb right here. Them don't they see me? So as you can see, because the vocals is more, it actually created a multiple effect, that lush effect that you do here from the background, you know? So for you to actually have a chorus effect, it has to be more than one. For example, you record your project 
and you have maybe a three key and also a soprano key that you want to you can decide to take the vocal two two each or three three each so when you put them together it's going to give you this vocal lush them don't this this vocal lush effect okay them don't they see me so before you can be able to have a cross effect done with other effects you must make sure that your vocal is more than one okay them don't they see me so let's start and process this particular one so we have already linked our vo our vocals right here to the misa channel from the channel rack we've already linked them to the mixer channel here's our mixer channel right now we have vocal one vocal two vocal three and vocal four them don't they see me so what we're going to do right here is to link all this vocal into one particular channel so i'm going to take this channel i'm going to rename the channel i'm going to create a group i'm going to create a group i'll say group one so in this group i'm going to choose a color for it i'm going to choose red for it okay so i'm going to be linking all these vocals into this group okay so how do you do that i'm going to come here once i highlight it i will come here remember this and i'll right click i'll the route to this track only i'll click so you see automatically it will connect to this track i'll just do to all the same only I don't want to duplicate a signal. I want the whole signal to be in that group, okay? Only. So you can see. So this group will now be controlling the signal. Them don't they see me? So once I put it off, once I put it off, it won't sound. No sound. When I put it on. Them don't they see me? So this particular group is controlling everything, including the knob. Them don't they see me? Beautiful. So right here we now have a group for all the vocals and we're going to process the particular vocals. So you come to this channel. And you're gonna add maybe like a compressor to actually them don't they see me so the compressor is not active them don't they just gonna put it like 2.043 okay them don't they see me so it's already compressing them don't they see me just gonna give it a little gain to make up them don't they see me them don't they see me so just make a little compressor and before then the compressor i'm just going to put this compressor down i'm going to add a reverb them don't they see me just going to drop the um, low end a bit them don't they see me then the mid range them don't they see me beautiful them don't they see me so the next i'm going to do right here is to add a chorus uh, effect so what chorus effect does is cross effect duplicate the signals for you for example i already have about four signal here one two three four one two three four signal then when i add a cross effect what cross effect does is actually to duplicate your signal and add a little delay on the duplicated signal so when i add a cross effect right here you're going to see how it's going to be more and feeling lush so i'm going to choose a cross effect right here them don't they see me so do you guys notice i'm going to put it off them don't they see me i'm going to put it on them don't they see me you can see how it spreads more right so in this content i'm going to just add a little delay so what delay does also to, to give it um expand to expand the frequency although you can also have a what's it called a separation speaker separation effect here them don't they see me you can see it widened up a little bit you can see separation so this also a separated effect i'm going to, going to add here them don't they see me you see how wide it is now it's very very widened okay so i'm going to add a little bit delay on it them don't them they don't see, me. see me delay effect i'm going to the timing them don't they, them don't they see me them don't they see me them don't they see me they cut out them don't they see me them don't they see me That's them don't they see me 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 so actually you can try to control the input right here them don't they see me so right here we're going to add a reverb remember that this is the group we have so we're going to bring in our reverb them don't they see me them don't they see me so you're going to take away some low end on the reverb them don't they see me 
they add a little decay depending them don't they see me them don't they see me so on this dry them don't they see me so you can see how inside it is so you can as well experiment your effect them don't they see me them don't they see me so i'm going to take it back up to dry them don't they see me beautiful then in this case now you have everything in the group you can discover them you begin to you can you see you begin to have that choir effect them don't they see me then also if you want to take it further like what i do sometimes i'll just come here to create a, a send effect i'm going to channel this group to a send effect i'm also going to title this group i'm going to rename um send effect i'm going to give it a color i'm just going to put a uh, green to just differentiate it from others then i'm going to link this particular group to it so this is a duplicated signal i just duplicated all the signal right here to add a little i'm going to add um a little flanger to it let's see how it goes them don't they see me them don't they see me i'm going to put it off them don't they see me flanger them don't they see me so you can see i have more cross effect right there okay so this is the same effect them don't they see me so if you also want to add a little bit of reverb you can just so you can just experiment anything you have just experiment along to have them this contest i'm going to remove the dry signal because it's the same effect i'm going to put it right here them don't they see me them don't they see me so right here, I'm able to put it inside a room. As you can see, the reverb is more, and it's going to give you an extended signal. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? So as you can see, then you can also just regulate. You can also regulate the amount of a uh, cross effect. I think it was cross effect I added here. So I'm going to experiment it with a flanger. I'm going to put a flanger in right here. Fungus. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? Okay, yeah, I have a right flanger here. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? So you can see I have more, more. Then if you want to make it a little bit more cooler, you can just come here. You go to your equalizer and drop. Um, if you want it to be warmer, you can just drop the sharp signal. Them don't see me if you want it to be a little bit warmer them don't they see me so if you want it to be a little bit brighter them don't they see me this is it them don't they see me so if you want some sheen around it so make it a little bit brighter them don't they see me them don't they see me okay them don't they see me then if you feel it's very loud, you can also come here and reduce the force signal. I'm just going to press my control, then left click. Hmm? Then I pull the signal down a bit. Them don't they see me. Beautiful. Them don't they see me. I'm just going to release them. Them don't they see me. Them don't they see me. Then I'm going to use this volume. Then you can also put this on 100%. Them don't they see me. So you can see it's very wide on both speakers. You can see it's very, very wide on both speakers. So um, I have a group in, I have a group sending effects and also have, I have a group effects. Like I have my EQ, a little bit of compression, chorus effect, expanding, delay, a little bit of delay you can as well. Just experiment and make sure you have a good result. Then I have a reverb to read. Them don't they see me. Then on the send effect, I have a little flangos here. Them don't they see me? Them don't they see me? I also have a delay. Them don't they see me? So depending how much delay you want it to be, then you can also go to your delay and add maybe a decay effect. Them don't they see me? If you want it a little bit more deep inside the hall, just add a little effect. Them don't they see me? Then if you want the size of your housing to be big, you just increase the size of the house, of your room, room size. Them don't they see me? So you can hear them don't they see me so i just increased my room size to help 
I'll tiny it a bit. Them don't they see me. I'll increase it. Them don't they see me. So I think this one works for me best of all the room size that I'll be selecting. So uh, you're going to do the same to your project and ensure that you don't overdo. So follow what works for you. So most of the time, this is how I mix my backup vocals, my choir vocals. So the more voice you have, the more lush effects you have about six. Or if you have one voice or one key you want to back up for, you can take it up to six or five. So um, when you have more than one or three take, if I had had more six, six vocals here, you're going to hear more lushness that comes with the little little delay of for the vocals Them don't they see me. and make sure you don't forget to pan your um uh, audio so uh, here is my first vocal i'm just going to pan it to 80 you can watch right here and see the percentage you're going to pan i'm just going to pan it up to 80 to give it that wideness so i'm going to pan the second one too to 80 so make sure you watch the percentage right here so the third one i'm going to pan it to to 80 and the fourth one to 80 so check out the preview them don't they see me them don't they see me so this actually helps you to give it that wideness that width to spread out in the speakers where you can hide it inside so if you're doing it with your beat you can as well put the volume down to be able to enable it comes from that distance them don't they see me so the more reverb you add the more it goes inside them don't they see me so you can see you can notice so if you add less reverb it comes forward but if you add more reverb it goes inside them don't they see me. Them don't they see me. beautiful so guys make sure you follow step by step in this video to achieve the same result okay so and do it to subscribe and um like the video and make sure i see you in the next video in the next video i'm going to show you how to make beats and also how to mix beats so make sure you watch the next video so do it to subscribe and like the notification button so whenever we upload new videos you're going to get notification and don't forget to join our free telegram music production free group in the description below see you guys in the next video them don't they see me them don't they see me them don't they see me